in Sage 50 Cloud Accounts version 25.1 and above, you can now add attachments to your journals. These attachments could be explanatory notes or copies of documents to clarify the reason for the journal entry. These might include things like salary spreadsheets, expenses, and maybe a list of year-end adjustments from your accountant. Let's have a look at how it works. So in our journal entry screen, we've already entered the journal and we're ready to click save. Just before we do that, we'll click Add Attachment and then click Browse to locate the file we want to attach. You select the file and click Open. If required, you can add multiple attachments. However, in this case, we'll leave it set to 1 and we'll click OK. We'll then save the journal and close back to the nominal codes list. You can view, add or delete attachments in a number of different areas. First of all, we'll have a look at the nominal activity and we'll look at one of the nominal codes that we just posted the journal to. As there's only one transaction posted to this nominal code, it's already selected and we click View Attachment. This automatically opens the folder where the attachment is stored. Let's close out of the activity and this time we'll pop into transactions and then if we scroll across to the right hand side we can see the view column and it's got a little symbol in to indicate it's got an attachment. If you haven't already done so make sure you've got the right transaction selected and then click the little icon in the view column. And as the attachment's an Excel file and we have that software installed on our PC it automatically opens. With the transaction selected, we can also click View Attachment on the top toolbar. Similar to when we viewed it within the normal activity, it displays the folder that contains the attachment. The final option we'll look at is when you edit a journal. If it's a group journal, the Edit Journal Entry screen appears, and we have two options, Add Attachment and View Attachment. Let's start with View Attachment and again the folder containing the attached documents appears. If we click Add Attachment, from here we can remove attachments or add additional documents. We'll not make any changes and just cancel out of that screen. Obviously if needed at this point we could edit the journal. However, we'll just click Close and that takes us back to the Transactions list.